This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I use the Remesh by Union Deformer? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. Now this model was created using the Project Primitive Deformer and also Sculptress Pro. So if I turn on my polyframes here, you can see I have a varying degree of tessellation. So the areas where I have the detail has more tessellation than the areas that are smoother. So you can see across the entire model, there's varying degrees of topology. So the question is asking about the remesh by Union Deformer. So if I come up to the top here and switch to Move, Scale, or Rotate to activate the Gizmo 3D, at the very top of the Gizmo 3D, there is this Customize or Gear menu here. And if I click this, this will open up this menu here. At the top, I have a bunch of primitives. And then below that, I have a list of all the deformers that are inside of ZBrush. So the question is asking about using this remesh by Union Deformer. So how can you go by using it, and what does it do? So before we use this deformer here, I first just want to look at the robot mesh here in a little more detail. So if I turn back on my polyframes, you can see this mesh currently consists of one single polygroup across the model. Now when I was using this mesh, I used multiple parts and then just sculpted those individual pieces. So I have multiple geometry islands that exist on this model. So if I go to my tool palette and then go down to the bottom here and then open up the polygroups area, if I click this Auto Groups button here, it's going to look at these geometry islands and it's going to give me a new polygroup for each one of those islands. So if I click this, you'll see that my polygroup coloring has changed. So if I come back to my polyframes here and disable line, and you can see that now I have this model being displayed with these different polygroups. Now if I hold down Control and Shift and then click on one of these different areas of color here, or different polygroups, it's going to isolate that polygroup. So you can see the head here is one geometry island. These arm things are one geometry island. The neck area here is a geometry island. The eyes are geometry islands. So this model is broken up into these little individual geometry islands and they're all just kind of intersecting each other. So let's say I want to take this model and I want to use him for 3D printing. Well, if I sent the model now, he's going to consist of all these islands, and some printers will be okay with this, but others may not. So you may want to go through and then create a single watertight mesh instead of having all these individual parts stuck together. So I could come through and take this model and use the option of DynaMesh on it. So going to the geometry panel here and going to DynaMesh and re-DynaMeshing the model. However, when you use DynaMesh, it's going to go through and it's going to change the topology across the entire model surface. So I'm currently happy with the geometry I have on this model. The only issue right now is that I have all these intersecting pieces of geometry and I need one single watertight mesh. So instead of using DynaMesh, we can now use this Remesh by Union Deformer. And what this deformer will do, it's going to take all those geometry islands, and then it's going to look where those parts intersect, and it's going to union them. So it's going to basically merge them all together into one nice, solid, watertight model. So I'm going to go back to the Gizmo 3D by simply clicking on the Move option here, or pressing W on my keyboard. Then I'm going to go and select this Customize Gear option again to open up the Deformer menu. And now I'm going to click Remesh by Union. Now when you click the Remesh by Union button, you'll see it's going to process up here, and it's going to perform the Union operation. So it's going to look at the subtool I have selected, and it's going to process it in a Union fashion. So anywhere I had those areas of intersecting geometry, it's going to merge and weld those areas. It's going to add triangles to support that weld, and then it's going to remove any of the interior surfaces. So if I zoom in here, you'll see that I have some triangles being generated along those intersections. If I control Z, this is what the original version of the model looked like. And then if I redo that process, this is what the mesh looks like now after being processed with that remesh by Union Deformer. So it's gone through and looked at all those intersecting parts of geometry and now created a nice wider type mesh. So if I zoom out and now go back to the tool palette and go to the polygroups area, and now do this auto group process again, 
It's going to once again look for geometry islands and give a new polygroup for each island. You'll notice that after performing that remesh by union option, I now have one single polygroup. So it's gone through and welded all those intersecting pieces together and given me a nice solid mesh. So I just need to go back to this Gizmo 3D here quick and just accept that. So now I've just accepted that deformer and cleared it out of the model's cache there. And now another thing you can do with the remesh by union option is that you can not only use it to just look at intersecting pieces of geometry and then generate a nice solid watertight mesh from those parts, but you can also use it with a subtraction process. So I'm gonna go back to the subtool palette here and in this file, I have two subtools. So if I just turn these on here, so you can see I have these kind of horn parts here. Now I could process these as an additive function and this will give some interesting shapes here, but I'm gonna subtract these parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge all these tools together. So I have my body here that's been remeshed by union. So it's in one single nice water type mesh. And then I have these two additional subtools. So I'm gonna merge these all together. So I'm gonna to go to the subtool palette. I'm gonna go down to the merge area here and I'm gonna click merge visible. So it's gonna take everything that's visible in this tool here and merge it together. And now it's gonna give me a new tool at the top. So if I select that one, this should be now the result I am seeing. So I have one subtool with all those parts merged together. Now, if I turn on my polyframes here and make sure I have line disabled, you can see that I have the body here, which is that one single polygroup, but then I have these other parts that are now a secondary polygroup. So I wanna process these parts as subtractive functions. So I could process this with live Boolean with that original file that had those three subtools but I wanna use the remesh by union deformer again to subtract these parts from the model. So to perform a subtraction process using this deformer, you need to make sure that the parts that you wanna subtract have this white subtractive polygroup applied to them. So I'm gonna come through first and just hide the body. So I'm gonna hold control and shift and click on the main part of the robot here to isolate it and then click again to hide it and this should now leave those three parts like this. Now I'm gonna go back to the tool palette over here. I'm gonna go back down to that polygroup area. And in here at the bottom, there is a button called Group as Dynamesh Sub. So when you click this button, you'll see it's going to apply this white polygroup to my model. And this is just going to tell ZBrush and specifically the Remesh by Union Deformer that anything that has this white polygroup applied to it when I process this tool with that deformer, it's going to use this polygroup as a subtractive process. So I'm going to bring my model back by holding Control and Shift and clicking. So you can see now I have this white polygroup area and then the body of the robot here. I'm now going to go back to my Gizmo 3D by selecting Move, Scale, or Rotate. So that will be now visible again. I'm now going to click this gear icon here. And I'm going to go back to the deformer, Remesh by Union, and now I'm simply going to click this. Now when I click this, this will now process the model here and it's gonna take those areas that had that white polygroup and it's now going to subtract them. So instead of doing the process where it would merge it together to create one single watertight mesh, it's now gonna use that white polygroup and it's going to perform a subtractive function on any areas of the model that contain that white polygroup. So you can see here after this is processed, it has now removed those parts from my model. So now I can go back to the Gizmo 3D icon here and click Accept. And now I have this version of the robot here with those parts being subtracted. So the Remesh by Union Deformer can first be used to take a model that has multiple parts and then weld them all together to create one single water type mesh. And then it can also be used to process the polygroups contain that white polygroup information that is related to this Dynamesh subtractive button here and process those white polygroups as subtractive forms. So you can take a model, merge some stuff together into one single subtool, go through on that model and group different parts with this group as Dynamesh sub. And then when you process that model with the remesh by union deformer, anything that has that white polygroup is going to be subtracted and you'll end up with a result. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.